Hi everyone. It's been uh, quite a while since I've posted a video. <clears throat> uh, and I was just in my faithful car. Um, just listening to worship music and just praying what I felt led I needed to pray about and against. And when I was praying, I just got an image in my mind of a muzzle <clears throat> over us. And I just, I was praying, I was praying, I was praying, and I couldn't remember. I couldn't figure out the word. Um, I just, like, I could see it, and the, the word was not coming to me. And I just kept putting my hands over my mouth, because that's what I was seeing, something covering our mouths. I just couldn't remember what the word, it was not coming to me. So I just started praying, because the Lord knows, he's the one who I feel was showing me. So I just started praying, praying against that, praying against, um, you know, and I would put my hands over my mouth and just pray against whatever was trying to silence us. And then, bam, the word came to me, muzzle. That's what I saw, a muzzle over us. And I feel like with things that have happened over the last several years, I know that people have really been hit in different ways there's been a lot of loss and there's been a lot of change and chaos and in all of that I feel like the enemy has muzzled us and we have allowed the enemy to cause the circumstances of our life and things that have happened and things that we've been through and hurt and rejection and anger and frustration and disappointment and the questions that we have about why this and why that or why not this or why not that have put us in a place where we have shrunk back and I know I'm speaking personally on myself because I, I did hold back a lot and during the season the Lord, and I have shared this several times, that the Lord has been pushing me out of my comfort zone and pushing me to do things that I would not, on my own, want to do. <clears throat> and it hasn't been easy. It's been difficult. I mean, it's, who likes to do things that they don't want to do? Nobody. <clears throat> but I feel that... In that obedience and and don't get me wrong I still struggle and I still hesitate and I'm sure that there is so much more that he still wants me to do that I am NOT there yet but in the obedience when I have stepped out and not even thought about it twice and just done it I have seen how he has given me my voice back <clears throat> I have I was always and it made me feel almost shameful because I remember when I was in the world, I had no problem speaking up. <clears throat> I had no problem getting in front of people and talking. I had no problem voicing my opinion. I had no problem being blunt. <clears throat> I had no problem making my voice be heard. And then after I got saved, I felt so insecure and inferior. And there's absolutely no way that I can do that, that I can share, that I can <clears throat> speak to people. And that's a lie. And that's, that's what the enemy tries to do. He tries to get us so caught up in those things that make us feel unworthy, unable, inferior, that make us insecure. And little by little, it's muzzling us until we're so caught up in all of that that we do not move forward we hold back we shrink back we put ourselves in a little box and we put the lord in a box and we don't do all those things that he has for us to do that he has already given us the grace to do that he has already equipped us to do and we hold back and as i was praying that's what i felt we've been muzzled whether it's in insecurity, inferiority, in fear, in timidity. And, and right away, 2 Timothy 1.7 came to my mind. And I know in, in a lot of the ones that, that we speak out and declare, it says God has not given us a spirit of fear. But in some versions, 
2 <clears throat> Timothy 1 7, it says, um, sorry, I'm just going to pull it on my Bible. For the Spirit of God, the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self discipline. God did not give us a spirit of timidity. He meant for us to be courageous and bold. So I just pray that whatever the enemy has caused you to be muzzled by, that it would be broken off of you in Jesus' name. And that you would go forth in that courage, in boldness to do and speak what God has placed in your heart to do and speak and not hold back. Not care about what someone is going to say. Not care about how you think you look. That you would just do it. That you would have the bold, the boldness and the courage to just do it. To no longer shrink back. To no longer hold back. To no longer stay in that box. But just do it. Break that muzzle off. Pray that that muzzle that the enemy has placed on you. Would be destroyed and completely removed in Jesus name. And just go forth. Go forth. He has already equipped you. He has already given you everything that you need. And now we just need to go in obedience and do it. No longer holding back. And again, I've said this before, but I have heard for some time now undignified. Just let go. Let go. Don't worry about what others think. What you think you look like. Just let go. In all things. In worship, if you feel like you need to worship the Lord and just let it out, just let it out. That that word that you feel the Lord tugging on you, that coworker, that friend, that family member that you feel the Lord wants you to reach out to, just do it. And remember, if they don't receive, it is not you they are rejecting, but the word but in that obedience and you sharing that, that is still a seed that is planted. That is what your job is to do, just to plant that seed. The Lord has someone else to water it and to help it grow. But don't miss that opportunity to plant that seed because you're shy, because you're timid, because you feel insecure, because you feel inferior. I know we've heard this so so much during this time, but you were created for such a time as this. The Lord has already given you the grace. The Lord has already equipped you. He created you the way you are, your character, your personality to be used for his glory and his kingdom. So I just pray in the name of Jesus that whatever the enemy has used to silence us, that muzzle that he has placed upon us, that it would be broken and destroyed off of us fully and completely in the name of Jesus. That the Lord would just fill us with his confidence, with his grace, with his mercy, with his love, with his boldness and strength to do those things that he has called us to do. And that we would not shrink back, that we would not hold back. But that we would go forth in his power, in his anointing, in boldness and in courage. In the name of Jesus. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Take care and be safe. God bless.